Hello everyone, welcome to our channel TechZet. Here we we'll learn about AEM tech stack and how AEM uh, works as a CMS platform. We also have a medium blog where uh, you can find more articles related to the AEM and uh, CMS platform. Let's start with the agenda of this video. Here we'll start with websites and understand what is CMS and explain some of the types of CMS, how AM fits as a CMS platform. Also, we go through some of the features that are available within AM. So let us start with uh, websites. In this, we have uh, two different types that we can say. One is static sites and one are CMS or content management sites. In the static sites, uh, basically, we will uh, uh, change the HTML, CSS and JavaScript uh, and deploy uh, whenever uh, the page needs to be uh, needs changes, right? Uh, whereas uh, CMS sites, we actually uh, do not require much of the technical knowledge to change the content, but the application changes can be done uh, over deploying the uh, code, right? So the major the major advantages using CMS sites is the authoring person who is uh, editing the pages or uh, adding some content or images or videos to the site doesn't need to have the whole application knowledge. Just he comes to the site and edit it in the uh, CMS uh, platform and then publishes that particular site. So that that's where the advantage comes with the CMS sites. Now let us understand what exactly a CMS is. CMS uh, mainly uh, contains two parts. One is content management application and one, one is uh, content management delivery system where content management application involves in authoring the content such as images uh, or the home page creation, site creations, asset up uploadation, and uh, workflow creations so such type of activities happens within uh, content management application level whereas uh, content management delivery system the end users where this come and see your public site so that that is where the content management uh, delivery system works or publication system works and the main features of C cms are like authoring where you come to the author environment or the CMS application system and create, edit and publish the content. And next feature is reusability. Like I said uh, before, the application development happens at once and the content and the components that we develop in the CMS platform can be reused across the websites. And we have uh, multiple experiences that can uh, leverage through the CMS platforms. Uh, like I said, we can also have uh, application uh, content management system. Uh, uh, application is maintained in one system and then the content delivery can be anything like iPad or uh, uh, mobile or webs uh, normal desktop or website website that you regularly see. And it also contains uh, in inbuilt infra uh, such as like you don't need any external servers to maintain it inbuilt have uh, specific servers and also uh, some of the customizations that we can do through uh, entire CACD in the infra inbuilt section. So that is about uh, the CMS and the features that are available in the CMS platform. Let us see types of CMS now. We have majorly three types of CMS. One is traditional CMS, second is headless CMS, and third is hybrid CMS. When you see traditional CMS, uh, let us consider AEM AM as an example. We have two systems, AEM Author and AEM Publish. Both are running within the same platform called AEM. That is where traditional CMS comes into picture. Headless CMS, the content management application that is the authoring part of the content is maintained in one's platform that is let us consider again AEM and the content delivery system is maintained uh, or delivered uh, the content through other platforms 
that can be a mobile device or mobile application native application or ipad uh, application that can be ios or android and uh, any other website which consumes this particular uh, content uh, which has been created in the aem so that is where headless cms uh, works that's how it works and hybrid cms when you combine these both uh, traditional and headless uh, that is uh, called as hybrid CMS where it supports both traditional CMS and also the headless CMS. And uh, now let us understand where exactly Adobe fits in uh, in the CMS platforms, right? So AEM uh, is one of the content management system that uh, used to create websites and uh, any mobile applications and uh, community community forums and also it, it also acts as a place where you can upload your centralized assets and uh, uh, other other so many features that uh, CMS supports, right? Uh, AM is also uh, there to support and it also have uh, additional uh, like integration pinpoints that it can do with the other Adobe products like if you see it, it, it is under the umbrella of Adobe Marketing Cloud where AEM experience manager comes and within this uh, umbrella right this experience manager can be also easily integrated with other adobe products under the same marketing cloud like analytics to uh, get the ana uh, analytics from the websites or mobile uh, applications and there are social integrations that we can do and we can also target the specific audience with the uh, relevant uh, campaigning things and uh, you can run the email campaigns you can run notifications extra etc with these uh, experience manager and experience manager comes um, now with the uh, commerce cloud integration as well which is supported uh, with magento uh, commerce so these are the some of the am uh, features and uh, other capabilities that it integrates with the uh, adobe products now let us see what exactly the AM uh, supports as features, right? So for any website, um, you need to have uh, pages, right? So you, you can control the creation of uh, pages and addition of uh, editing the pages or deleting the pages within AM itself. Like uh, they, there is uh, author environment and a publish environment where you can create the pages within the author environment. And you can also manage the assets, which is called DAM digital asset management where you can control the uh, renditions from what renditions you need for images pdfs and other videos um, in within the aem itself and you can also run the workflows workflow management system is also available out of the box where you can um, uh, edit the content and submit to some of the uh, editors who can actually uh, verify that particular uh, content is uh, ready for approval or ready for publisher. So such type of uh, activities and workflows can be triggered within AEM itself out of the box. And we have a multi-site management, which is called MSM, where you can uh, create the uh, different locale data, such as like if you have um, different uh, languages within uh, same uh, country, like Canada have English and France, right? So you can create different locales as well and publish uh, these sites in different regions and within AEM we have uh, uh, components which are called as core components uh, which comes with a, a package and uh, these core components have the basic features and uh, you, we, which can be used to develop a website and these are extendable uh, components where you can customize for your uh, customer needs and we have uh, tagging features and then search feature uh, inbuilt out of the box and we also have user management system where you can create the users create the groups and uh, uh, publish them to the uh, publish environments as well so on the whole the summary of this particular uh, video is 
uh, AEM is a, a very good system to actually uh, leverage the CMS uh, capabilities because it, it integrates with other Adobe products uh, for marketing purpose and it also acts as a headless where you can develop native applications and the content can be centralized within the AEM and for a commerce system it provides the core commerce platform where all the commerce components such as cart, uh, checkout, all these functionalities are out of the box and you can customize accordingly uh, within AEM itself. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again.